rhombus ABCD can be mapped onto rhombus KLMN by a rotation about point P as shown below. What is the measure of KNM if the measure of CAD is 35? All right, so because we're rotating, you can see, well, actually, you don't even need to have the, uh, the diagrams here, but you can sort of like line things up. You're looking for angle C, so you know that ABCD and KLMN are going to be congruent to one another. So, and I also recognize that these angles are going to be congruent as well. So I know that K and M, K and M is this guy right here. Okay. And I know that N corresponds with D, which is this guy right here. Since CAD is 35, and another property involving um, any rhombus is this. The diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of one another. So that means I end up with four congruent right triangles. All of these are going to be right triangles, and they are going to be of the same length, or same, um, same dimensions. So if that's the case, then that means the angle over here is going to be, what is that, Nine, uh, uh, it's going to be 55, right? Because that angle and 35 must be complementary. So that means the other angle over here must also be 55. So if I'm looking for angle K and M, that will be congruent to angle CDA. And CDA measures 110. So angle CDA is equal to 110, and that is con con equal to K and M. So that would be option four.